Hi, and welcome to another PowerShell quick tip video. This video is actually going to be probably one of the quickest quick tips. Um, it is a commandlet that I use more often now that the PowerShell IC isn't really used for PowerShell 7, but it could also be used still with PowerShell 5.1 um, in the IC or outside of the IC. It's probably most likely useful outside of the IC, and I'm going to show you guys why. Um, so before I show the commandlet here, we are going to look at the old ISE of PowerShell. So the PowerShell 5.1 ISE, we used to have this command option here on the right hand side. And it would have all sorts of commandlets with the modules that you have loaded in. And you can actually just type in like an add content and you can see the details of it. If you if it wasn't imported, you would just click on show details and it would give you everything that you could actually put in for the commandlet. And you can actually see what values are actually mandatory by the little star, all the different options that you can do and the different switches that you can also do as well. And the different options if it was literal path or just a path. But in Visual Studio or in PowerShell 7, because they don't give you an ISE and you're using Visual Studio code, we actually don't have that command little side panel. But what you can actually do is if you in the terminal type in show dash command, you will actually get something that pops up that looks like this. And we can actually do a add content here and we can just put this in here. Uh, we could just do like a test test. And if we hit run, it will actually add that commandlet directly into our terminal here. And we would be able to run this. Now, of course, this will not work because I don't have a path or anything like that. Uh, you could, of course, still use the command up here, uh, but it really won't do very much in this case, um, because this is basically writing a script. You would never automate this process. Um, but if you need help looking for a commandlet, maybe you kind of know um, what the details, like what the name is of the commandlet, but you're not 100% sure. Like, you know, it's like a test something, and then it's like, oh, it might be a test connection or a test path. Um, and you can easily see all of the different details there. Um, so if we just do like a right output here and we do a input object, we're just going to do, um, let's do a, this is a test. If we copy this here or we just hit run, actually, we have that. And of course, the input object, I should have put that in quotes. Uh, so let me just do that again here. So if we do the show command and it opens up, if we do a write output. And I believe this will work. Yes, yeah, so there we have the output prints out test. But again, every time you hit run, it puts it into the terminal. But again, you can hit copy and you can easily just paste that in here. That was the old one that I hit copy on. Um, but that's where the show command really comes in handy. It will show you all the different kinds of commands. And it even works outside of Visual Studio Code. So if you have a PowerShell 7 uh, console window open because you're just going through setting up different things on a server or on your computer, and you don't quite remember a command that you need to run, you can type in the show command. And once again, you can actually just do like, let's say we want to do a get execution policy. And we can see here, it doesn't actually show us the details. All we need to do is show details. And we can just do a list here. Hit run. It'll tell us exactly what to run and we can hit enter and it gives us the lists of our execution policies. So the show command is very useful, especially if you use it in combination with the get help. Um, but this is just maybe a little bit more interactive than the get help. 
uh, because you can actually see and just see like a list of all the commands that are available to you currently and then just click on one like let's do this clear disk here we can get the details of it it'll tell us all the parameters that it takes in and all the different ways that we can actually execute it by number by name by path by unique id or input object and we can actually just put all those things in there and actually just hit copy or run and it will put that commandlet directly into our console or our terminal depending on what we're using i find this really useful it was super useful in the ISC back in the day, uh, and that kind of disappeared with PowerShell 7, but you can actually still get it and still use it with the show-command commandlet. Hope that helps you guys out with some more PowerShell adventures that you guys have going on. If you guys have any commandlets that you guys would like me to show on the channel, or if you guys would like to learn more about a specific commandlet, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys have any comments or questions, please let me know in that comment section down below. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and also don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified when that next video comes out, and I will see you guys on the next video.